Hey there, welcome to some tips and the 27th tutorial of cell programming and cell scripting video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to run multiple commands in single instances in cells programming and also how to run multiple cell script file.sh file in single click in this video. So, let's get started. <laughs> So as of all we know, we, co we cannot run multiple commands in one click. Suppose we had I am going to run date space cal. So you already know the date will go show the present time, date and time and cal will show the calendar. So if you are going to enter, none of the program or none of the command is going to run. So, so I am going to show how to run multiple commands in single click. So let's move to the present working directory to the cell. So here I have written the small program. They here you can see the cal date and ls. So what I have done, I have just given the semicolon between the all the commands. So what it will do, it will run all the commands and separately because the semicolon will say, will ask or instruct the compiler or the cell script terminal that both are separate commands and do it separately not a single command so let's quickly run this the 27 program file in my terminal so here you can see first the calendar then the present time then the ls or the present file and folder on the directory is showing there so now next what i am going to do next i am going to say how to do it in another way multiple commands and uh, independency so let's again go to my code and this is one another thing that here you can see the cat space the file name then double pipe then calendar what it will do it will first check the p.sh file contained if it is found or it is true that file is available on the directory then it will bring the calendar using cal because here I have used the uh, logical or operator, if the file is not present there, but also it will print the calendar. So let's check it. So here you can see in the first line it is showing the no file or directory available, but it is also showing the calendar. So if you do it logical and it will not show this calendar because it will first check this one if it is true then only pass it to here so it is kind of if operator you can also use this and logical and as a if if it is true then it will do the rest of the operation it is not going to check that second one before the first one so here you can see no calendar is showing only the showing that there is no file is available on the directory so next i am going to show you how to run multiple sales script file.sh file in single click so let's go to that program another program or three program I have written in the first program here you can see echoing this is the first cell because the first first program then it is going to ask the sh space p2.sh because here p2.sh it is whatever i have written in my terminal during the run of the cell script file same thing i have written inside the cell script file so inner script file have been written and it is asking or transferring redirecting the terminal to that file this is the main function so it will go to the next cell script file p2.sh whatever i written the second cell i will also redirect to the third cell third cell return it is the third cell third cell does not redirect anything it will close the operation of first cell so when i will run the first p1.sh it will print first cell second cell and as well as third cell because when you are going to enter the second cell directly it will print the second and third first cell output will not be printed because first cell is not going to is not being redirected by any other cell script file so let's run it and clear the concept so first cell i have written the three output have been came p1 p2 and p3 first cell second cell third cell if we are going to paint the second cell or run the second cell only two line output will be going there 
if you are going to pin the third cell it is only showing this is the third cell because third cell does not redirect it to or linked to any other cell so in this way you can run multiple file and multiple commands in the cell script how you can do i have described in this video if you found this video helpful like this video share this video and comment if you have any query and don't forget to subscribe channel to get more videos on cell programming and cell scripting thanks for watching this video hope to see you soon in my next video